Hey everyone, welcome back to part three of our tutorial series on the Avatar Builder. Uh, in the last part of the uh, series here, we talked about um, assigning the single root um, to your accessory and defining the control handles and defining some of the motion behavior and all that stuff of uh, your accessory uh, for single items. Now we're going to deal with uh, pairs, uh, things such as eyebrows, um, ears, and all that fun stuff. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do now is um, you can see in the uh, from the previous tutorial, I already have the uh, avatar controller um, other tab defined. I can move my little antenna around, and I can uh, move it up and down on the character's head. Uh, you can see the ears currently, brows, and eyes not defined. So what we need to do is we're going to add in some eyebrows in this tutorial, since those are the uh, some of the one of the most simple pairs you can possibly uh, bring in. Um, let's go ahead and do that then. So I'm going to go to the set tab here. And in the set tab, I'm going to add in my custom eyebrows. So we'll go to the prop section and custom. And you can see I have a folder here called AT Base. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on those eyebrows. First the left one and the right one. And we'll add those in. So let's make our avatar invisible for now. So we can take a look at the uh, eyebrows at the scene root here. There you go. It's a simple black eyebrows. Could be used for any cartoon character. Um, so what I'll do now, um, you recall in the first tutorial, we added a single dummy. For the, uh, for the single antenna there. What we want to do now is in this tutorial, we want to add a pair dummy. Um, so I'm going to go back to the uh, template folder here. And in the Avatar Toolkit Volume 2 Dummy Tools, you have a structured pair dummy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click that and add that in. And let's just take a closer look at exactly what that consists of. Uh, I'm going to just make these eyebrows invisible so we get a better look here. And minimize the control or content manager there. So you can see we have a structured pair here. That's the entire uh, red um, object there with the cross, including the little blue um, dummies, sub-dummies, I guess you can call them. Uh, and I have dummy left and dummy right. They're currently in the same position, but you can see if I uh, you know, move dummy uh, right around, you can see they're both just two little blue boxes, similar to the uh, ones we had, uh, the one we used in the previous tutorial. So let's control Z that, bring it back to the original position. So the first item of business, I'm going to um, reveal those eyebrows one more time. And I'm going to attach the eyebrows to their respective dummies. Now we're going to be looking at this from the perspective of the uh, character. So our screen left is going to be the character's right. So I'm going to be using the character's um, perspective, the character's right and left, just to give you an advance notice on that so you don't get confused in terms of direction. So I'm going to select uh, eyebrow right there. Let's go ahead and uh, pick a parent. And we're going to pick dummy right for that. Okay, and then eyebrow left, pick a parent, and we'll pick dummy left. All right, so now we have this structured pair. And if I wanted to move the dummies apart, I can go ahead and do that. Let's move it apart so he doesn't have a unibrow here. Maybe just a little bit over there. And then dummy left. We'll move it to the uh, character's left right there. And there we go. We have a nice new set of eyebrows for our character. Okay, so let's go ahead and reveal the character there. All right, so it looks like he's uh, sitting on his eyebrows there. Since uh, it's not really normal to sit on your eyebrows, let's go ahead and bring those up. Now I want to select the entire uh, structure, the structure pair dummy, to bring those up together. And we'll bring them up into his head there, and then a little bit forward to the front of his face. And a little bit up, maybe a little bit forward, there we go. That's a good position for the eyebrows. Okay, so we got our eyebrows, our eyebrows all set up. What we need to do now is attach those to our avatar. So let's go ahead with a structured pair, pick a parent, and pick the uh, AT base. There we go. Now we have our single dummy with the antenna and our structured pair with their uh, respective dummies. And we're good to go. We're good to define these accessories uh, now, just like we did with the single pair, or the, with the single item, sorry. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna select accessories and then structured pair. And some of the notes have the same name. Just let the avatar builder uh, rename them automatically. Press okay. In this object type, uh, this controller type, we're gonna choose a brow object type. Again, you can choose anything, but uh, just to keep it consistent, the naming consistent, I'll just choose brow. Um, the object structure is important for this one. We want to select a uh, pair. Okay, and you'll see this other left side pops up on the controller handles um, node there. All right, and let's go ahead and spice things up a bit. We'll change the direction. Use this for direction B here. And then we don't want to enable this expressions right now. Let's go ahead and uh, assign the roots. So for the roots, this is going to be fairly simple. We just want to simply select um, for the right side. This R indicates right, obviously. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the dummy R as the root for that. Dummy L for the root of the left one here. Now, of course, different characters will have different dummies and different uh, structures. Um, so be aware of that. Um, this may not work for every single uh, character structure out there. We'll just go ahead and apply that. And then we'll go to, ahead to assign our nodes for the controller handles there. 
So for the right side, let's go ahead and do that. The right side, this of course engages, of course, the dock controller again. This is the slider control. So for the slider control, we can just select a dummy. Since you have to select something anyways, we'll just select the dummy. We're not going to be really using the slider control in this tutorial. But for the uh, dock controller, now this one's interesting because let's take a look at the uh, structure of my right eyebrow here. Let's make this change this into window mode here. Get a bit more room. So you can see the eyebrow contains a few bones here. Um, you can see that uh, there's the bones that are being highlighted as I select them there. Um, now every bone that I want to be able to control, um, I want to select that uh, in my uh, in my dot controller um, column here. Um, so I want to be able to control the uh, entire eyebrow. So I'm going to select uh, this. Since basically when I uh, select the uh, um, the root, the controller handle root, I'm going to have the option now of selecting either the dummy or the eyebrow because these are going to be the roots for each, um, basically for each side. Um, so what I'm going to do now is select the eyebrow for the root, and if I want to control the bones, we can select those as well. Every single bone on there will be able to be uh, adjusted, and we'll just go ahead and apply that. And then we'll do the same thing on the left side. Again, with the dummy left, we can just choose that as a slider, as a slider value. And the L, our eyebrows, not elbows, eyebrow left, <laughs> we can choose that, and we can choose all of our bones as well. Okay, so those are all going to be able to uh, be controlled now by our dot controller. So basically our eyebrows are going to be able to curl since you can see the, the uh, structure of the eyebrows. Um, so we'll go ahead and apply that. And then we'll go on to our next step, which is uh, defining the puppet behavior again. And in this case, let's go ahead and just use the uh, dot controller here, okay? So I'm going to basically select the, the middle one here. And again, now I have the option of choosing the right handle target or the left handle target. Let's go ahead and start with the left one first. And you can see here that I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And with the, uh, we'll do it again with the uh, right one and apply just to make sure that those are in the uh, correct position there. Okay, now to the right here, what I want to do is select the handle target for the left and go ahead and uh, we'll just maybe move that um, a little bit. Actually, what we're going to do is like kind of tilt this a so little, we'll rotate it. So when we move that to the left, um, to our right, he will raise his left eyebrow. And then maybe uh, we'll select the right one and he'll kind of oops, move that down a little bit. There you go. So that's what he'll do when he moves to the, uh, when he moved the mouse to the right. We'll go ahead and apply that. And then um, we'll move to the top here, reset that. And then maybe we can actually just take both eyebrows and move those up a little bit. We don't have to be too accurate. Just uh, grab both of them, move them up, and then go ahead and apply. Left one will do the same thing. Uh, reset. And to the right, we'll just tilt that up a little bit. And the left one will tilt it down a little bit. And there we go. Let's go ahead and apply that. And then for the bottom, we'll reset that one more time. And we will bring those both down here. So it's like right target. Bring that down. And left target. Go ahead and bring that down as well. All right. So there we're good to go. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and apply that. And let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like in the preview mode now. So it'll pop back. Boom, 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 boom. There we're good to go. So our character is just kind of messing around there. And his eyebrows are moving just like so. All right, so I'm going to end preview mode now. I'm going to show you basically um, if I wanted to maybe modify this a bit more, because I mentioned that I'm going to be using all the individual bones. Let's go ahead and see uh, how that works. So I'm going to select the uh, um, upper um, profile here. And what I need to do now is of course select the handle and I wanted to choose edit animation layer um, in my actor accessories tab now and this is going to bring up the uh, entire hierarchy of, of my uh, eyebrow so once I uh, I can expand this and you can see all the individual bones now they're being highlighted in yellow behind the blue there so what I can do is with the when the eyebrows are going up I kind of want to just make them um, you know tilt a little bit downward like this so I'm going to grab each individual bone quickly kind of rotate that downwards like this and you can see that kind of has a better effect. And of course, we can just select the left one, do the same thing. There we go. Select the second one. And we're going to kind of just arch those eyebrows. So they're kind of like surprised more like that. And then we'll go ahead and apply that. Okay, so now uh, what we're going to do is go into preview mode one more time. And you can see now it's like, whoop, they kind of just curve up like that. So it looks a lot nicer than just the eyebrows going straight up. So you can go ahead and do that depending on your own eyebrows. We'll do the same thing for the uh, for the bottom part here as well. Let's go ahead and uh, select the right one, add animation layer, open that hierarchy, 
And we'll just uh, rotate these up so they kind of look angry a little bit. This will look pretty cool when he actually has eyes. And choose the left uh, hierarchy there. The left root, sorry. And just bring those up. Here we go. So now they look like a couple of uh, angry horns. Uh, we'll go ahead and apply that. And again to the right. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Right. Set animation layer. Bring those up. Just bear with me while I do this really quickly. We'll kind of uh, maybe uh, just tilt this one down a little bit. Oops, not that much. There we go. And the left one. The left one we'll do it the opposite way. We're going to kind of cr uh, make it so that this guy can uh, do a wave with his eyebrows. Oops, there we go. Has to be a smooth wave. I'm just kind of doing this really quickly, so uh, bear with me. Uh, let's just tune this one a little bit. Oh, this one maybe a little bit further like that. There we go. And I'll go ahead and apply that. And one more to go. This one over here. And let's go on our key. Oops, I want to set the left one. Left. I guess just make sure we have the correct uh, handle selected. We don't want to mess anything up here. Oh, this one goes down. I forgot. There we go. Just a couple more to go. We'll select the right uh, target handle. Uh, boom. There we go. Almost done. And we are done. There we go. That should do. All right, so close and apply that. Now you'll see that when I uh, enter preview mode, uh, we'll have the uh, eyes go up, down, curve down, and curve to the left. So now you can see his eyebrows doing kind of a cool wave thing. I don't think many of us can do that with our eyebrows, so this character is going to be fairly talented. There you go. So that's basically it. And we'll exit preview mode. We can uh, already go over to the controller. You can see the browse um, tab has been activated. We can do the same thing over here. And if you want, you can, of course, add, add some value to the variation slider as well. Um, you know, if I wanted uh, the variation slider, I'll just go to the middle and uh, uh, go ahead and apply that. Middle, we can select the right, apply that. Middle, select the left and apply it. If I maybe went to the uh, right side, we can maybe just have his eyebrows go extremely uh, far up. Uh, maybe something like uh, just bring those up way up here. You know, and then uh, apply that, and then the left side will just reset it, and then uh, right target will bring it way down. Maybe it'll be cutting through his eyes that way. We don't really know, um, but uh, we'll see in the future. There we go. Go ahead and apply that. Now I can preview mode and let's see. Boom. Eyebrows go up. Eyebrows go down. Up and down. Okay, so if you can recall, we defined this as a uh, accessory pair. So the advantage of doing this is that actually you can actually um, puppet the different parts separately. Um, you can also invert them as well. So over here in our uh, brow uh, brow tab, if I uh, you can see I, I can move the uh, eyes regularly. But if I just select a single brow, I can uh, puppet the single brow by itself, and uh, vice versa with the other brow as well, and just uh, move that one by itself. Uh, and we can also do the uh, invert invert thing and uh, have them move at separate. Uh, separate or separate directions there. You can do it even in more interesting wave right there. So uh, yeah, that's some uh, cool stuff you can do um, when you have uh, structured pairs as your accessories. Um, okay, so that's about it for this tutorial. Um, stay tuned for our other tutorials. We have a lot of other cool stuff. I'm going to show you how to align your accessories to your props and all other kinds of creative ideas that uh, you can um, consider when you're building your own uh, avatar with the uh, avatar builder. So stick around.